our last question here before we've got to go is that uh, the deeper dive question. And this is a question from one of our listeners, and, and it is, are there any best practices for how to attract the right safe type of driver for our fleet? Um, so maybe just taking that, looking at it from the other perspective that you were just describing, uh, what do you do to, to make sure that this is the right safe driver for you? Yeah, so it starts from the first conversation for, for us, you know, be, because I am their first contact all the way through to the conclusion of orientation and beyond because I'm the driver ambassador as well as at least one of the driver ambassadors from that very first conversation we're establishing not only a bond and, and um, letting people know what the brand is and, and what your expectations are at orientation. Andrew Boyle spends an hour and a half with them, letting them know big picture and our expectations of the driver, as well as the driver's expectations of the company, you know, are we fulfilling those, those expectations as well? But as far as, as I guess, um, bringing people into the organization and making them interested, you know, a lot of that starts with the marketing part of it. You know, we do require uniforms. All of our marketing, you know, is our drivers in uniform with clean equipment, you know, those kinds of things are really attractive to, to some professional drivers, you know, especially if they're involved in an organization or with a company that doesn't let them wash their trucks, you know, that doesn't, um, that, some drivers may not be to that standard. That's all I'm going to mm -hmm. say about that. Sure, we all know, sure. we've all seen them at all the truck stops, so that the people that, that aren't a good representative of the brand. And during orientation, that's something that we talk about too, about how important what you do and how you look not only reflects on you, but it also reflects on the company. You know, and it's really important to kind of maintain that, at least our image through in the industry. And that's something that we talk about. And that's something that we coach too. If we, because the fellow professional drivers, they're keeping an eye on, on their, their, their felt, you know, their, their coworkers as well, you know, so, so they're reporting people that don't, don't wear a uniform or whatever, you know, so, so, you know, that, that whole, you know, attraction phase is starts at that very beginning I guess it really starts with marketing, doesn't it? Because we're, we're showing our drivers in a certain environment. And then once I, I start to talk to them and then I'm reinforcing that, and then we're reinforcing that all the way through orientation and then post orientation, we're also, you know, following up and coaching if, if they're not meeting expectations as well, you know, but knowing those expectations is really important as a professional driver, because if you don't know where you're at and what your, your, your expectations are within the company or from the company, then you don't do it right. Right. And if you don't know what you have to do, then, then you can't perform your job to the, the high level that we expect. 